file systems. So as with all of the chapters, it's really important to talk the talk, and that can be a big part of the challenge. So I've listed file system terminology and terminology in file system context. So file system is an organization of data and files as directories, of file-based interface, and file permissions to control access. There can be special files that aren't really what you think of as an on-disk file for things like devices, sockets, and pipes. A file system cache is an area of main memory for storing recently accessed data to improve performance so you don't need to go to the uh, physical storage devices. Operations. File system operations are the requests of the file system. Read, write, open, close, stat, MKDIR, and other operations. I.O. for input and output. And here's where I'd differentiate, I'd make a differentiation, and you may not, but for operations, this is everything you do to a file system, which can include MKDIR and, and, uh, and RMDIR and whatever. I.O. is just things that, oh, I'm including that there as well. I.O. are just the operations that end up doing an input or an output, that end up doing a read or a write. Uh, okay, so an example of one that, what's an example of an operation? It's actually on the screen. What's an example of an operation that you, it, it may be debatable as whether you're really doing a file system read or write. No, stat you are reading, you, the whole point of stat is to give me the metadata of a file. I mean, you could argue it, but I, I would say that I would call stat a, like an input no, close. operation. Yeah, close. Close doesn't really do anything. It's, it's just closing a file, it's not an input or an output, it's just saying I'm, I'm done with this reference. It may trigger, well it's, it's not, it may trigger a sync, a sync operation, but that's syncing stuff you've previously written. And so you did the outputs earlier. So I would call close an operation, but I wouldn't call close an input output operation. Open would sort of be the same thing, although sometimes when you do an open, the file system has to do work, but uh, I'm not inputting data to the file system or outputting data from the file system. Um, open and close is just letting me prepare to do that. Uh, another file system operation, mount and U mount. So again, I'm not inputting or outputting data. Logical I.O. Logical I.O. is I.O. issued by the application to the file system. And then physical I.O. is I.O. issued directly to the disks by the file system. So here we're using the term physical to refer to the back end I.O. Uh, whereas logic, when I say back end, I mean from the d device driver to the disks, or from the bottom of the file system to the disks. And we're using logical I.O. to refer to the system calls and what the application is asking of the file system. There is a physical breakdown for the earlier chapter on main memory, and that's, we do use the term physical memory sometimes to differentiate between virtual memory and physical memory. So you will hear that. Uh, whereas in this case, physical is being used to uh, differentiate between something that's logical to the file system and then to the physical storage devices. Throughput is the current data transfer rate between applications and the file system, measured in bytes per second. Inode is an index node containing metadata for a file system object. So all objects in a file system have an index node. Well, at least most file systems that are, that are based on UFS and FFS. VFS is a virtual file system. That's the abstraction we use so that uh, the kernel can support different file system types. And uh, you may have a volume manager as well.